Tokyo Makinwa goes off via a series of tweets in response to snarky comments that Rino Omokui made on Twitter. The author and TV presenter Rino Omokui shared a photo of the late Miriam Babangida with a tweet stating that Miriam Babangida was one of the world's most beautiful women ever. We need the media to project more natural beauties like Miriam instead of force-feeding youths stunning photos of bleached divorcee slay queens with surgically enhanced bodies. Yikes. Toka did not take this lightly and she did not hold back on expressing this. She responded stating, wow, at your age, your wife and kids must be cringing for you. Such an embarrassment. Divorce is nothing to shame anyone for. Life happens. People like you are the reason why a lot of people stay in unhealthy situations and lose their dignity, and in some cases, their lives. But Toka didn't end there. She continues in a series of tweets, which I'll touch on briefly because she makes valid points. Like, you can celebrate a version of beauty without putting another down. To divorce is not a crime. Every divorced person has survived something and sometimes getting a divorce is the only option they have. Enough with the divorce shaming of anyone. I don't see a divorced man being shamed for living his life after failed marriage. She then clarifies, while I'm not advocating for divorce, if leaving is what you need to do, do it in peace. And I agree, I mean, things change. I definitely believe in marriage till death do us part, but I don't believe anyone gets married with the intention of getting divorced. I feel like if your life is on the line and your well-being is on the line, do what you need to do. What do you guys think? Of course. I mean, <clears throat> he. I don't like when people want to advise someone or you want to praise someone and in the same breath put, you someone, put someone else, else down. down. It's just uh, not necessary. Yeah. It not takes it out of it. I mean, I understand where he was coming from and I'm with that. I've said it on the table many times. I'm with everybody, literally. <laughs> so I'm with, I'm with the idea that the media does need to promote a balanced yes. um, representation of beauty. And I don't, I don't think I'm with the idea that only stunning, light skin, whether bleached or natural, um, enhanced body should be this, become the standard of beauty. Exactly. I find it personally unhealthy. There should be a variety. There should be light skins, True. dark skins, fat, short, skinny, chubby, thick. You know. So, if 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 you want to go to talk about this lady, I've forgotten her name now. Um, this lady and her, the standard of beauty that she Mary embodied. Thank yeah. you, Miriam. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, and I'm with that as well. You should still be able to, um, the media should still be able to portray uh, modesty as something that's worth doing. Agreed. But then that doesn't mean you that if I decide that I want to show my tits else. out, <laughs> that, I'm, that there's a problem with that. Like, mm. that's what I want to do, and that's beautiful in its, own, in its own way because it takes confidence, and if you're with that, then you're with that. So I'm with um, Toki Makua on this, and I liked how she did it because of that divorce part, it became extremely, it was already negative, but it became even a lot more shaming yes. now. And I felt that that was a bit unnecessary. So I like that she came out of her, of her holiday, <laughs> like she mentioned, to school the man. Um, I went back to her. I, yeah, I went back to it, yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm happy about that. All right, so you guys have said it in English. Let me just tell Reno in, Go ahead. in, in, in the language you probably will understand. Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm I don't know what's wrong with you, but whatever you do to your wife, I hope she leaves you. Ah. <laughs> yeah, because at the, at, at the end of the day, yeah, I, wouldn't no, want to, I wouldn't want to advise a woman to stay with a man that is not making her happy. I wouldn't want to advise my sister to do that. So if your wife was my sister, I'm saying this with all due respect. Well, you think the wife is unhappy? Every, no, I never said that. Okay. Don't take me out of contact. Okay. What I'm saying is that, I'm, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that about Reno. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should take it away from Reno and just bring it In back general. to every yeah. woman mm. who is in an unhappy relationship. Mm. An unhappy go. relationship. Mm -hmm. Or who feels like this man and they're just staying there because of what people are going to think or what the society would say about them mm -hmm. or what people are going to t say about them. Then, um... You, 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 you're playing yourself because yeah. at the end of the day it's not the man the man would do they said a leopard never changes the spot right mm. so if a man has been beating you and then you now feel someday after 10 years it will change that man won't change mm. if a man has been treating you terribly it's not going to change and if you feel the best decision I've seen a lot of women that will tell you that the only reason why I'm still in this marriage is because of my kids okay. do you understand yeah. it's it's not worth it because at the end of the day these kids are going to grow up and they're going to become their own person well. and they're going to leave you and you would be the one to be thinking about your life and the decisions you made and the things you could have done differently mm. and there's something that Drake has taught me if he has not taught me anything. YOLO. You only <laughs> live, live once. once. Word.
So, we know we understand your point, but let's try to avoid shaming people, whether it's because of their divorce mm. or whether it's enhanced beauty, whatever it is, you can make your point without shaming people.